Hey guys, welcome back to Poke Central. Now in this video, I am going to be showing you guys the Pokemon uh, TCG Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion um, promos for the pre-release. So, um, I am going to go in the pre-release, so subscribe if you want to see that vlog or type of, it's not. I don't think I'm going to vlog, so I'm just going to make a video of me opening the pre-release kit and the extra packs. But anyway, let's get into this. Um, if you are going to the pre-release, comment down below. I would like to know, because it's pretty fun. Um, so yeah, this video I'm just going to be explaining the whole, everything about the pre-release in this. And then I am either, I already made one, and it's already out. If you're watching this late, or if you're watching this the day I posted this, which is Thursday. Then I am going to be making a video on Friday, um, the 20th, about, the, um, about pre-releases in general. So... Um, alright, so I'm, I'm gonna read this to you guys, so you guys can know. So the release, the release date is November 3rd for the set. The set looks pretty, pretty amazing. So, begin the Crimson Invasion early. And sorry if I'm not a very good speaker, because I'm not a very good speaker in general. Alright, anyway. Battle in Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion pre-release tournaments to get an early look at new cards on the way. And have a lot of fun doing it. Be among the first to discover the loads of awesome cards in the Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion expansion. Including Mysterious Ultra Beasts and more Pokemon GX. It also features new trainer and special energy cards that could be the perfect fit for your new decks. The pre-release tournaments take place October 21st to uh, October 29th, 2017. Shortly before the launch of the new expansion on November 3rd. Check with your local game store to see when they were, when they'll be hosting an upcoming event. So if you want to know um, how to see if there's one next to you, just the top right hand on the top right hand on the screen says "Play Pokemon Events." Just click on that, press um, search for events, and then it'll teach. It'll, you'll see when you get there. When you register and pay the entry fee to a pre-release tournament, not only do you get to get to participate in a fun and casual tournament with other Pokemon fans, but you also get to keep all the cards you receive. When you sit down to play, you'll receive a pre-release box containing one 23-card 20, or 22-card evolution pack that includes an exclusive foil promo card, plus four boosters from the Sun and Moon Crimson Innovation expansion, and you'll use those cards to build a 40-card deck. So basically, in the evolution pack, it just gives you a majority of types, like, usually, well, for Burning Shadows, I got, um, Darkness and Psychic. And then also, a little, some colorless Pokemon. So it just gives you a pack of that with their evolutions, just to get started on your 40-card deck. Alright, it's an awesome way to get ahead on the latest card for your Pokemon TC collection. While the deck you build doesn't have to include the pre-release promo card you receive, keep in mind that it's often... A great way to get started. From there, you can choose what other Pokemon, trainer cards, and energy would be good com companions for that card. Take a look at our at the four promo cards available at Pokemon Sun Moon Crimson Invasion pre-release tournaments. So we're going to start off with Alolan Raichu. You guys, yeah, I'll just leave it like this so you can see the rest. Um, and the pictures that will be on the screen now, they're, this is, I can't get them any, like, not blurrier, because you could e you could read them a little easier than you can now. But anyway, Alolan Raichu looks like it could be really fun to play, especially in pre-release tournaments. It can crank up the pressure on your opponent with its psychic attack, which uses only colorless energies and has a high damage potential. Considering building a deck featuring Alolan Raichu or add it to other decks for extra firepower. Salazzle, with two easy attacks that are useful in the right situations, Salazzle is certainly a Pokemon you could build a whole pre-release deck around. The added searching power from its nasty plot attack will be a huge advantage, allowing you to find any two cards in your deck for only one energy, and your opponents will find antidotes to your opponents will find few antidotes to Salazzle's severe poison attack, which puts four damage counters on its poison target between turns instead of the usual one. Reggie Rock. Um, while Regirock's Rock Peak Growl attack, it's a, it's a weird ability, makes it a great support Pokemon for Registeel, 
So, I, you're not going to be getting Registill and Regirock together. But or, um, it holds up pretty well on its own, too. The Ultra Beast Guzzlord GX will be a tough matchup for most, but the fighting type Regirock is one of the Pokemon that can take it down handily. Hard swing and attack that dishes out 110 damage and ignores resistance is enough to defeat all but the bulkiest Pokemon with just one or two hits. Registeel. Finding the right mix of cards to support Registeel could be a challenge, but it also could lead to great results. Try to match Registeel with a Pokemon that needs a lot of energy and could benefit from Registeel's turbo arm attack. You could also use Registeel as a primary attacker with its iron hand attack particularly if you were managed to find a Regice, which unlocks the attack's healing power. Of course, these are just a handful of the ideas of, for decks you could build. Pre-release tournaments are all about discovering fun new ways to play with the cards you receive. So keep in mind, so keep your mind open to the other decks and strategies. If you're new to Pokemon TCG pre-release tournaments or you haven't competed in one, check out our article on how these fun events work. Have fun battling in your thingies at the thingy dates. Alright, so, um, I'll link in the description to the website if you can't find it, which is not that hard. But anyway, so let's start off with Alolan Raichu. So Alolan Raichu's ability is Surge Surfer. If there's any stadium card in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. Um, so that's pretty good. I don't know how much stadiums there are in the, in the Crimson Invasion, but who knows. Um, this attack does 20 damage. Well, Psychic, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Psychic, It the cost is 3 colorless energies. Its base damage is 70, and this attack does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So, Alone Raichu probably would be the one that I want the most, but I, I wouldn't mind all of these. I don't really care which ones I get and which ones I don't get. Slazzle, for one, uh, Psychic Energy, you could use a Nasty Plot, search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then, for one, Psychic Energy as well, you could use Severe Poison, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned, but four damage to counters instead of one on that Pokemon between turns. So that does 40 damage, pretty much, for one Psychic Energy, um, unless they could heal it, so that's, Slazzle's decent. And then, Regirock. Its ability, Rock Peak Ground, your Reggie Steel's attack do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. That's that's interesting if you have Reggie Steel, because I, I bet Reggie Rock, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Ice, I didn't check the set yet, but I bet those are like, um, what's it called? Those are like other cards in the set. That's not just a promo. Alright, so Reggie Steel, um, for one Steel Energy, oh, sorry, sorry, Reggie Rock. Two fighting energy, one colorless energy. You could use tough, tough swing, 110 damage. This attack damage isn't affected by isn't affected by resistance. Now for Reggie Steel, for one uh, Steel energy, you could use Turbo Arm, base damage to 30. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. That's pretty good. And then you could use Iron Hand for two m uh, Metal energy, and or not two Steel energy. I don't know what I'm saying. And one colorless energy, 90 base damage. If Red Ice is on your best bench, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So I'm going to have to say, this is going to be hard. Alright, I'm going to, I want, I wouldn't mind if I got Alone Raichu, Celestial, or Regirock. I want those three, probably out of all of them, Alolan Raichu. So Alolan Raichu would be number one, Regirock two, Celestial three, and Registeel four. Because Alone Raichu, you could you could uh, make your whole deck around because you don't need to have lightning energy. Even though you have its weakness to it, that's still fine. Um, and then Regirock is number two because mostly because of its tough swing attack, 110 damage. Um, you don't like you can't not attack the next turn. You have a you have a bunch of life. That might even be my number one choice. And Alolan Raichu is number two. Slazzle's three because you're only doing 40 damage, but it is for one energy. And then Registeel is four just because you're doing three for 90. Um, and not everyone's going to have Red Ice. And I'm doing this based on, like, I didn't look at the any other cards in the set. So I don't really know the rest. 
So that is it for Pokemon Sun and Moon Crimson Innovation pre-release promos. Um, if you guys are going to one, comment down below. Um, oh, those arts are so cool for the Salazzle with the salon that's in the background. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting in a while. I am super busy with school. And, um, I just ordered something huge. So, yeah. Catch you guys later. Peace out.